Sorry, Mr. Qureshi, we'll have to wait. Sorry, Barkha. This mutton pulao is more important. You can wait. I'm listening to you, not watching you. So, here I go back. The second video. The preparation of the mutton pulao. This video is in three parts. The first part was the preparation part oops oops the second part is preparation of the preparation of oh god the <coughs> mutton marinade is over frying is over now comes the pressure cooking part of it since i had all already in the last video fried this onion with 16 kishmish meat masala and garlic in the paste now i'll be adding The tomato juice, I'll put it in the marinade. The tomatoes go in. Very complex. I hope I find it. To mash the tomatoes. It's so that it becomes a paste. Doing it with one hand is difficult. goes in here okay these are those utensils which are used they are clean so nobody can blame me one thing i don't do after cooking is that the basin is clean now the fat is leaving the masala and the tomatoes are blanched Take care that it doesn't become a tomato puree. Tiny bits of tomatoes remain. It shouldn't be since we have already added tomatoes, the ground tomato here. I'd better keep. White clean. Some 
water into it. That cleaning becomes easier. That's the difference between my cooking and the video camera based videos you get. Now, the onion, tomato, and the marinade. And you see here, the meat pieces are quite tender. It's 115 now. We have late lunch. Already brunch was at 11. And there are only two people who are going to eat this, me and my son. Wife is a vegan. Divya isn't there. She's preparing for her annual fashion show, graduation show. I'll try to probably call her if she can come over. The rice is there. The raita is there. Now, since it is okay, since a lot of water is there in the curd, I'll improvise here, throwing away okay, some piece is going. I'll not add this water here. And wait. So this much of water and this glass I'm reducing instead of four glasses I'm just using two glasses of water because I want the meat to be neither too watery nor too dry. In case I find that it is dry I'll add some more water later and cook on slow fire. So now in this, we add the French bean and the capsicum. This is done in order to kind of make it a little bit colorful and nutritious. Now it has to be closed. 120, approximately at 150. This will be ready. It's on full. The gas is full. Here's the biggest burner. Till whistle. It will be on full. Once the whistle is there, it will be reduced to slow like this and then cooked for around 20 25 minutes. So, 130 it will be on pressure till 155. I'll prepare cook it on slow fire and then five minutes for the preparation time when I layer this rice. I'll be also using more ghee. I'll tell you, I'll come back and more garam masala and dhania which I'll be adding at the end. So this pan goes into the sink. The clean vessels go in here. Later to be kept on the racks. All the papers let it remain. So 
That's the only mess. Water can be drunk. The utensils to be washed. So I'll break the video here and in the next video I'll show it the layer.